Hi, I'm Jen Goff, trial technician for tools and supplies at Johnny Selected Seeds. Behind me, you can see a number of crops that have been planted with our paper pot transplanter system. The paper pot transplanting system allows us to seed 264 cells into a tray quickly and efficiently and allows for crops to go in the ground much faster than traditional systems. So the paper pot transplanting system is a two-part system. The first part being seeding into our trays. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. The basic components for seeding our paper pot trays are our seedling trays, our frame and spreading bars, and our paper chain pots. These come in a few different sizes, both two inch, four inch, and six inch spacing, depending on the crop that you're planting. Once you fill these with soil, you can seed them by hand. However, we do also offer a seeder as well as a dibble system, and we'll show you that. So first I'm gonna slide the spreader bars into the end of my paper chain pot. On one side, and then on the other. Next, I'm gonna spread the paper chain pots and slide them over the edges of the frame. The offset peg corresponds to the last row of cells, which is slightly shorter. Perfect. So next, I'm gonna place our seedling tray over our paper chain pot and frame and flip it over. We're gonna fill our trays with a seedling growing mix. At this point, you can seed by hand or you can use a dibble board. Next, if you're using a dibble board, you can place that over your 264 cells and press gently. This will create small holes for your seeds to rest in. The paper pot seeders have two layers, each with holes drilled to match the configuration of the cells. The top layer of holes is purposely misaligned from the bottom and filled by adding seed to the plate and shaking it back and forth until each hole has a seed in it. The seedling plate is then placed on top of the filled tray and two layers are aligned so that the seed drops through and into all 264 cells at once. Next, you can cover your seeds with a growing medium or vermiculite. The timing of getting your transplants out is really important. You want to wait until your root system has filled out the cell. However, you want to be periodically peeking at the root system on your plants to make sure that the roots aren't getting too big before transplant. What you don't want is your plants to start pulling at each other because the root systems are intertwined underneath. Successful seeding of your paper pot trays will allow for good germination and full beds after planting. Thank you for watching our video. Check out all of our videos on our website.